Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to add Freon to your uh, AC system and uh, also get uh, your uh, AC clutch to engage just in case it's not engaging. That's a necessary step if you need to add Freon to it. It's not gonna suck in the Freon unless it's engaging. And the, the problem is when your Freon gets below a certain limit, it, uh, the AC pressure switch is, uh, sends a signal to your, uh, to your computer and that shuts off the, your AC compressor. It does that so it doesn't uh, damage, you know, with, if, if the Freon is low it will damage your other uh, components of your AC system if the, the, the compressor keeps going. So to do that we're going to be using uh, one of these uh, Freon in a can type, uh, type products. It comes with a gauge on it, you know, that's also very helpful to have. And I think I got this for about $30 plus a $10 deposit at, uh, at O'Reilly's and you guys can get that too. Um, yeah, I really recommend getting these ones with the uh, gauge on them. Otherwise, you would need to go and uh, buy one of these AC manifold uh, gauge sets, and these could cost you, you know, upwards of 50 bucks. You know, I got this for I think for 50 or 60 bucks at Harbor Freight. But you guys don't need this, so uh, you know, especially you know, this is more for like uh, I guess adding Freon and both uh, diagnosing the AC system. But uh, if you're uh, like me. And you got a cheap car here, and all you care about is just getting the AC to to blow coal. This is all you need. So yeah, with that said, here's uh, how it's done. Okay, so the next step is to turn on your car, put the fan on the highest position, turn on your uh, AC, and make sure your AC switch is on too. Next, you want to let the car run for a couple of minutes. Then you want to check to see if your AC compressor clutch has engaged or not. Uh, Here's how it looks like with the clutch engaged. Hopefully you guys can see. And here's how it looks like with the clutch not engaged. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest of this video with the engine off, but uh, you guys, if uh, you need to keep the engine going, if you're going to add Freon to it. So I'm just doing this so you guys can actually hear what I'm saying. So, you know, if, if your AC compressor clutch has engaged, you can just fast forward to uh, towards the end of this video. Since uh, you're almost there, it should be pretty easy to uh, to add Freon to your system. But if your AC uh, compressor clutch has not engaged, you want to do this next. Okay, so if your compressor clutch did not engage, you need to uh, you need to do it manually, and you do that by first uh, finding your uh, your AC compressor uh, relay, and that is usually in the fuse box in the engine bay. So you just remove this cover. There's usually a little uh, little guide on the on the on the cover it tells you which one is for the AC compressor, and in our case, it's going to be this one right here. So you want to remove your relay. Next is kind of tricky. You can not that tricky. Usually, well, hopefully, there's a there's a little map at the on the on your relay itself that tells you which one uh, is uh, responsible for the which which terminal in the in the fuse box is responsible for turning on the, the AC compressor clutch and in our case hopefully you can see this it's going to be this one right here 87 as you can see these two uh, terminals once they get energized uh, it gets it connects you know it's uh, this is kind of spring loaded I guess you could say and uh, once these get energized it pulls this this side of this terminal and it connects uh, number 87 to, to number 30 down here again I'm hoping you guys can see this uh, but yeah so what you can do is you can just manually uh, supply power to terminal 87 and that should turn on your AC compressor clutch and uh, I'm just gonna do that right now with some you can do it with any kind of wire or uh, whatever you just wanna get some connect your uh, the positive side of your battery which is Conveniently located in our located in our case next to the fuse box, so yeah, just want to run a wire from the positive side to to this terminal, which is uh, where number 87 would go, and that should turn on our AC. That should engage our AC compressor clutch. Remember, you want to do this while the car is running and your AC on high. Okay, so with the car running and your AC on and to the high, uh, then the fan on the high position. I'm just going to be using some uh, alligator clips to connect the positive side to this terminal right here. 
And then uh, we're gonna go over to the compressor and check to see if the clutch has engaged. Okay, and now as you can hopefully see the, the clutch has engaged and now we're ready to add Freon to the system. Okay, so now that we got our AC compressor clutch to come on to engage and uh, we, need, we can now add uh, Freon to the system. This is gonna be pretty straightforward. Um, you basically just need to find the low port to the, and which is usually has a blue cap or a cap that just says low. And even if you can't find the, if you find the port but you can't find the cap, don't worry. You can uh, once you remove that, these uh, connectors can only go on the low port. They're uh, they're pretty dummy proof, so it can be you won't be putting it somewhere it's on the low side or you know whatever somewhere else that you can't that you're not supposed to. So just remove the cap. You you pull on this and you connect it like that, and then uh, you press on this, and then you start reading your gauge. And some of these uh, have a dial that's, you know, you put it on a certain temperature, depending what's the temperature outside, it needs to be at a certain uh, pressure or PSI. And, uh, but this one doesn't have that, it just have a general area, I guess green would be low, and uh, as you can see the blue side is filled. So if you have something like this, you just want to press it until you get it to the blue side. And then, uh, that's if it's low. <laughs> if, it's, if, it's, if it's in the filled area, then that means you might have uh, different, different other problems besides uh, low freon in your system and you probably want to take that to a professional. So you just want to get this to the filled area and then go back inside the car. Hopefully you'll have cold air and you can escape the heat while driving. So hopefully this video helped you guys out there. Uh, if you have any questions or comments please leave them, please leave them below and uh, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up. Alright, I'll uh, see you guys next time. Take care.